Orca Slicer. It's a very nice piece of slicing software for your 3D printer. It is based on Bamboo Studio and Perusia Slicer. But how does it work? How can you get this slicer software and how to add your 3D printer to this slicer? I'll show you that right here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hey, Zach here. Welcome to this video. We are going to add the Creality and the 3v3 Plus to Orca Slicer. If you never have heard of Orca Slicer before, it is a slicer based on Bamboo Studio, but also Prusa Slicer. And Prusa Slicer is based on Slicer. Yeah, it's complicated, but I will show you how you can download, install, and use this piece of software for your amazing 3D prints. So uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe, and let's dive in. So the first thing that we need to do is going to Google, search for Orca Slicer, and you will find here a GitHub. We are going to use the GitHub. So the first thing that you will see here on this website is a lot of folders, and it is totally normal. The only thing that you need to do, scroll all the way down, and here you find download, stable release, download the latest stable release. Then you find here also how to install it, but here in the release Orca Slicer version 2.10, here official release, you scroll a little bit more down, and then by the assets, you will find everything you need. For your Windows computer, you go to this one. If you click on it, you will get an exe. It is an installer. You will uh, download it. And once this downloaded, you will get a little notification and you click on it and you, uh, you follow the instructions for installing it. And then we click on finish. Once that is done, you will have here somewhere on your desktop, you will have the uh, Orca Slicer. This is your home screen. Uh, we are going to click on prepare. You can see I've got here the Creality K1. Yes, you can use the Creality K1 on Orca Slicer as well. But we are going to add a different printer. We are going to add the Creality and the 3 V3 Plus to this slicer. So we are going to click on this icon here. So here you have printer selection depending on which type of printer you have here, custom printer, clipper, Marlin based or duet based. We scroll a little bit down till we find the Creality 3D printers. We have here also Bamboo Labs 3D printers, very nice, very convenient. We scroll all the way down till we get here, the Creality and the 3 V3 Plus. We click on it. If you have the 0.6 millimeter nozzle, then also click that one so that you have the choice to choose between 0.4 or 0.6. We click on confirm and here we have the build plate. So with your mouse, left mouse button, you can turn and we can pan it. If you use the scroll wheel, you can zoom in and zoom out. And with the right mouse button, you can move it from left to right and back to the front. Looks like up and down, but it isn't. On your left hand side, you have all the things you need for working as normal. Let me first add a model. We are going to add a model just like that. Here's the Benji and it all looks nice. If you click with the right mouse button, if you click with the right mouse button on the model, you will get different kind of options to choose from. For this tutorial, I will keep it very plain and simple and dive in a different video more into details. Then we have here add a build plate. So if you click on, on that, you will get a second build plate. And it is pretty easy and handy if you are going for adding a, a second build plate or a third build plate. If you are working with a model that contains multiple parts and it doesn't fit on one build plate, then you can add a, a second build plate. So I click here on X and here is my build plate. And then here is auto orient. So it puts the model at the right place. Uh, further, we have here auto align, arrange all objects like that. I don't know why he's doing that. You can always put it back like that. Split into objects, split into parts, variable layer height. We have here also the move function. I don't know why some slicers do have something like this. Then we have also rotate. If you click on this, you will get exactly that what you need. These are the bigger steps like 45, 90 and 180 degrees. If you go more to the outside ring, you can fine tune it a little bit more. This is the scaling. I mean, it is a uniform scale at this moment. So we can say like 300% and there you have a bigger banshee. You can also say like, oh, we, we don't want to do that. Let's go back. Let's go for, uh, for the Y axis. You also see the direction where it is going to go. Further, we have also uh, here lay flat on face. You select th that face and then it lays flat on the build plate. Further, we have here also um, mesh boolean. I don't know what it exactly 
is and does. Support painting. We have, yeah, you can paint supports if really needed. Same goes for the seam painting. Normally the seam will be printed at every single time the same place. You can avoid that or you can decide where you want to have the seam going on your model. And boss, you can put text on, on models. And we have here also measurements if you want to know how big something is on the model itself. So here on the left side, we have everything we need in order to do the slicing part. So like mentioned, we went over all of these here. Now it's time for this side. So we have here the Creality and the 3 v 3 Plus 0.4. The bed type, we have here some some type of plates. And then we have here the filament, Creality, Generic, PLA. If we click here on this, on the edit preset, you can see which kind of settings there are. For here, the minimum temperature is 190 and maximum 230. Yeah, it's an open 3D printer, so no uh, print chamber. Then we have here the print temperature uh, for the nozzle, first layer 220, for the other layers 220. And then for different kind of built plates, very. So this is very necessary to know if you're switching between plates, which kind of temperature does work very well. Meaning in other words, so if you are going to, so in other words, if you are going to switch between plates, I don't know if there are some other plates already available for this 3D printer, but make sure to do some test prints and see which kind of temperatures for these build plates work the best and then fill it out here. So if you are switching between plates, that you already have done your homework. Then we have here some cooling settings and some override settings, but in this case, nothing is selected here. So all is good. Um, so we have here the uh, 0.20 standard Creality. And basically I'm always using the 0.20 profile for every single print. If I want to have more details, more fine 3D prints, then I'm going for a step or two steps low, uh, lower. So going for the 0.16 or even the 0.12. If I want to have a fast print, but don't care about the details, then I'm going for the 0.24. A little bit quicker, a little bit faster. So the layer height, 0.2, seam position aligned. So meaning you get on one side, you will get the line, but you can also choose back or random or nearest, something like that. So I will, I will choose that one. Uh, precise wall, everything says exactly what it is. So th that was the quality. For the strength, we have here also some little tweaks that you can do, the wall loops. So the wall count is three, you can always increase it. This is a standard. You can also make it stronger if you please. If you are printing something that is very flat, you can choose how it is going to look like. Infill, you can find right here. Here we have 15%. We have uh, the sparse infill pattern and we have the internal solid pattern. Supports, well, Benji doesn't really need a support. It is a calibration model. And so checking out how well your 3D printer performs. Yeah, and also on the build plate only, but we, like mentioned, I don't need supports. And then we have also others, skirt loops. Well, let's uh, do two skirt loops, one layer high, outer brim. I will leave it like that. And then some other here, prime tower. If you are printing with multicolor, prime tower is most ideal. When everything is done, we are going to click on slice plate. We wait a little bit. So that is all done here. We have also slice complete. So when that is done, we are going to click on export G code file. And then I'm going to my desktop reality and a three V three plus. And now we are going to send the file over to the 3d printer. And here we are at fluid. This is the web interface for the Creality and the 3v3 plus at the model. Very simple. We are going to scroll a little bit down on the right hand side. We are going to click on add upload file. So we click on the file and then here the Benji is there checking. I have enough filament on the spool, so that's good. And then we click on print. You see also here a very nice um, PNG file uh, image. So you can see exactly which kind of model you are going to print on your printer. And then we click on print. Now we are going to wait until the model is finally printed. So, and there you have it. A Benji slice with Orca slicer. How well does it fit? You know, Orca slicer, Benji, boat, ocean. It's all matching up, giving you amazing prints. And I do need to say that this Benji is looking amazing. I don't see any flaws. I don't see any major issue 
also the text on the bottom yes i know here also the text does look nice the overhangs everything is just looking perfect anyways i'm very happy with this result i don't have to use uh Creality print in order to get nice models from my Creality and the 3 V3 Plus. Are you going to use Orca Slicer for your Creality 3D printer? Let me know in the comments. And by the way, as you could have seen, there are more 3D printers for this slicer. What do you think about Orca Slicer? Which 3D printer are you going to use for this slicer? Let me know in the comments. And uh, you know, Hit the like button and if you're not subscribed subscribe to the channel because i have on weekly base i upload new content for you to help out with your 3d prints and uh, you know when you are here and made it to the end check out this video right over here it is going to be amazing right here